I read a book called The Remarkable Life of Skin. I think it was called, it had like a weird name, but essentially it was all the science of your skin. It was fascinating. And the thing that I learned was that collagen makes up 75% of your skin and it gives it like the structure and the plumpness. A lot of people Mm -hmm. hear we talk about collagen. It's like scaffolding. Everybody wants good collagen. Everybody wants to look youthful. Inject collagen. (laughs) So it's like, yeah, it's like essentially just the scaffolding of your skin and it deteriorates with age and causes wrinkles. So this is maybe why we've all heard about collagen because like we all, we we don't always talk about proteins in our bodies. Like it's not like a ubiquitous (laughs) word. But creams, if they have collagen in them and claim to be helping your skin it is false because collagen the actual molecule is too big to be absorbed topically into your skin so if ever you have a cream or you're spending money on a cream and there's collagen in it and you are thinking oh that's gonna go in to my epidermis into my dermis and get rid of my wrinkles it is false and the moisturizing of the cream will sometimes give you like an acute sort of like look that maybe it's your skin's moisturized so you might feel like it's doing something but it's not. Um, and so, so it's all a lie. It's all a lie. I mean, there's a lot of skin oh my products gosh. that are a lie. Yes, yes. And um, it, it was just the most obvious one to me because I think collagen, it's like when I see yeah, it, I'd be like, I, oh, I'm gonna put I it on my skin. I have a bunch of face masks that are like collagen enhancing and not that I really use them, but in the winter, I love a good bath and I get really bad, like dry skin, which I guess they're also just moisturizing. Yeah, so there's masks. moisturizing properties for sure. And the one thing that like <laughs> the person says in the book is like, if it's making you feel good, sure. if, if you want to spend yeah. your money on this, you can, but like, don't expect. But that's it to truly solve a selling wrinkles. point for a lot of product. For is sure, to say it's actually. So you said it doesn't absorb into your skin because the it's molecule too big. is too big to go through uh, your epidermis. I mean, there's oh so many other gosh. molecules that are also too big, or like vitamins that don't get absorbed. Retinol was really sort of the only thing that had scientific backing to help improve wrinkles. Uh, maybe more to come to that with that on an ASAP science video. So mm. I don't want to give it all away, but great book. <laughs> Honestly, great science book. 